Hi, this time we will talk about hypothesis testing with one sample. So when you look at this definition, a hypothesis test is a process that uses sample statistics to test a claim about the value of population parameter. So what does that mean? It means we can define two different categories. So one category, sometimes you are doing maybe new research, then you are selecting some sample statistic, and then we assume the population parameter. That's one case. But secondly, that's kind of most cases anyway. So now we're using existing maybe study or research. Now we are claiming that uh, that existing research data based on our new sample data. So now how to stating a hypothesis? Now you will see two different hypotheses set up, which is null hypothesis and then also alternative hypothesis. When you look at the notation, null hypothesis always make HO and then alternative as HA. Then how to distinguish null and alternative hypothesis? So based on statistical definition, null hypothesis always include statement with equality. So as you see, this one less than or equal to, or equals, or greater than or equal to. And the alternative, it doesn't include a statement with in, uh, e equality. So it only contains like a greater than or not equal or less than. Okay? Therefore, now we can def uh, determine three different types of hypothesis setting. But please remember that null and alternative hypothesis must go together and then their total area become one here. Therefore, if HO, which is maybe less than or equal to, then alternative must be greater. So when you combine null and the alternative, the summation become equal to one. Same as equal, not equal. Now, null hypothesis greater than or equal to, then alternative hypothesis must be less than. That's it. Therefore, when you look at these three different setup, if HO is mu is less than or equal to k, the alternative must be bigger than k here. And HO is greater or equal to k, then HA less than k, or mu is equal to k, the alternative not equal to k. That's what this means. Now, when you look at those three different uh, types of uh, hypothetical testing, you look at that those two include inequality, but this one doesn't have it, right? Therefore, those two tests we are calling one tail test. And this is two tail test. Okay? Then, when you look at maybe a statistic book, then there are three different types of statistics. One is left tail, the other one right tail, last one two tails. Then how to determine those hypothesis testing? Okay, so in order to understand how to determine left tail, right tail, or two tail, we need to know why we name that one tail, two tail, or left tail, right tail, or two tails. Okay? So, let me draw one normal graph for you. So, let's say we have one normal graph here. Okay. We usually have this bigger area always defined H O and smaller area we define H A. 
then why do we determine HO is wider area value or H a smaller area value? It is because we HO represent the majority opinions and HA, you know, kind of a um, little bit extraordinary opinions. In other words, HO means usually usual case, HA means unusual case. Okay? So many people kind of agree, then they're all kind of HO. Now, a few people just agree, then it becomes HA. Therefore, HO is always take a larger area value, HA take a smaller area value. Okay, in this case, in this case, so when you look at this graph, which one? So I'm going to color, color this for you. So this is HO. And this is HA here. Which one is more pointing out? Even though I switch the color, you know, the, because you may say red one is pointing out more. So I'm going to draw the same graph here and just make this is the red color here. Of course, it's HO. And then the blue one is uh, HA here. Which area kind of pointing out to you? So I want to say smaller case anyway, because uh, uh, in this case, in this case, they're pointing out. Therefore, when we determine type of um, hypothetical test, we always look at HA side. This case, HA is pointing out on the right side. Therefore, we name it, this is the right tail test. Okay, and similarly, the normal graph is so this is HO and this is HA as you see even though H or HA pointing out on the left side therefore this one is left tail test so you know what I'm saying so like this we always pointing out unusual case where the unusual opinions is kind of located so it is located on the right side then we always call right tail test left tail, left tail side then we always call left tail test then what about it doesn't pointing out then it can locate so center is ho and now this can be combining as ha here because HA is located between two different areas, so this type of hypothesis test we just call two tail test. Okay? Then now, let's go back to the hypothesis setting. Then now, in this case, which one we define right tail, left tail, or two tails. So we discussed that this is already two tail case. But now this one, this HA going toward that right side. So this setup become right tail test. This one going toward the left tail side, so it become left tail hypothesis setting. So you know how to determine now right tail, left tail, and two tails, right? Okay, so next video, uh, we talk about more uh, detailed information of those type of hypothesis tests.